Welcome to my store. Put other filter cartridges in. My old wholesaler gave me a whole bunch of uh, stuff from other filters that have long since stopped being made. So we put these in and then we change them. We put new ones in. They have deactivated carbon in and stuff to take the color out of the water. Okay. Isn't keto also kind of a type of filter? Well, keto is like a uh, biological filter. What it does, it grows. See, this tank gets a lot of sunlight because we're right beside the uh, door. So this grows. It doesn't really produce any roots. It's just kind of stringy. It's looks kind of plasticky, like nylon. Okay. And it just grows there. There's uh, eel in here, a couple of nemos, a uh, bunch of hermit crabs, snails. We feed it a bit of lettuce, brine shrimp, stuff like that. Okay? Now, we'll go downstairs. Watch the light. Okay, one thing you'll notice that if you've got a filter that leaks, one way to prevent it from being a problem is to put the filter in the fish tank. Okay? This is just a regular canister filter. It didn't have any guts in it, so what I did, I filled it with bio balls. See those bio balls? Okay, those are surface area for the bacteria to live on, and I just stuck it inside the... What's tank. in there? Goldfish. Okay, so you see the, the, the filter leaks air. Well, it would leak water if it was out in the water, out in the air. And you just put it in there. Now, this is a saltwater tank in here, and it has two of these filters. You know, you just take some fluff, wrap it around a pipe, put a power head on it. And you'll notice Dad likes this method because he uses it in almost every single tank. Well, I like it, but there's nothing not to like about it. It's cheap, it's easy. Up here in the wooden box is another canister that leaks. Yeah, so it's up here. Put the camera up, throw it down. This is the fluval. There's some more crayfish, okay? This is where a bunch of koi are, so they need a lot of water movement, stuff like that. Okay? Now, go back in there. It's more trouble. Well, see, we've got to make that unipod. Okay, show them this. This here is just a bucket full of fluff. There's nothing else in there. So the water comes out of here. Up here. See right here? Well, show them on the outside. It's easier. It's right in. So the water comes out here, and it just goes into the, the bucket. Plus, it comes out of this tank and goes into the bucket. Then it flows out of the bucket through this hole here. Okay. See that uh, pipe there? That's in the bottom of the bucket. It just goes into the tank, and then there's a piece of fluff wrapped around it to keep it from uh, bubbling. Okay? That was so cool. What? This damsel here, he was black, and then he chased the yellowtail blue, and then he just ran just instantaneously when blue. Yes. Okay, so then this here is an AquaClear filter. A big, a big one. Aqua. It's got a big sponge in it. Okay. Disadvantage to an AquaClear is that when the sponge gets dirty, water has a tendency to overflow over the back. People call me up, they say, yeah, my tank's leaking, my tank's leaking. I say, what kind of filter? They say, got an AquaClear? Okay, your tank's probably not leaking. Check the back of your AquaClear. That could be leaking. Aaron, squealing fire, uh, yeah. squealing styrofoam, high production values. Another now, another one. If you look at the uh, penguins, the back of their filter is a lot higher than the front, so even if they get dirty, they don't cause you problems. Can I have back my camera? Why do you have to run the camera? You can be on camera. I'll run it. No, I can't. Okay. More uh, fluff wrapped around stuff. These are more of the waterfall type filters. Then we got the good old corner filter 
gravel in the bottom, fluff in the top, you run air through it. What's happening is that the air and the water are mixing, so the water is being pulled down just by the water density being less, so the water comes up and uh, circulates it through the filter. So same one, same one, same See a one. nice little long arm prong there? Isn't he cool? Uh-huh. We finally sold that one that we did the surgery on. What Jason this? got that. This is fluff wrapped around uh, no, pipe. That one this is a small submersible filter. It's got fish food in it. Hortensia has been overfeeding, I think. And it's all clogged up. Aaron, you clean this as soon as we finish the video. Yeah, okay. Okay. The thing about the waterfall filters is they should be out of the water or no deeper than that. Now, this tank here, the water is pumped out of the blue tub into these, goes into each tank, then they overflow through these pipes into this barrel where they go through some pre-filter fluff and then the whole bottom is full of blue bio balls. Then the water comes out of the bottom and back into the tank through here. Okay, so there's the water coming through the filter. Oh, it was coming, but when you hold the hose end up. Then we've got a protein skimmer in here. It needs to be adjusted up a little bit. And this is a foam fractionation device. What it does, it takes the protein out of the water before it decays into the ammonia nitrate cycle. 